a bit of a backstory before we begin today's video. I was out with a friend last night, and we were just having fun at an event, and um, she checked her phone and got a message from a family member, and it had a link, very link that I'm about to show you guys right now. And it was talking about Google Chrome and why you should delete it. Now, I'm not one to, you know, care that people are on their phones while, you know, hanging out, whatever. But I, like, was glancing and, it, it, listen, I'm sorry in advance to my friend that I did it to, but I glanced at her phone to see what she was doing. and. When I read the article headline, my eyes popped out. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. So this is what I'm talking about here. Why you suddenly need to delete Google Chrome. Now, Google Chrome is one of the most used web browsers that, you know, a lot of people have used over the years. I mean, I'm using it right now on my MacBook Pro. And when I saw this, I'm like, okay, well, that's just not good. And then what really caught my attention was the fact that uh, this video here, and I'm, I'm not sure if this has anything to do with the article itself, or if this is just an ad, I didn't bother to click on it because I didn't, I didn't want to see it. When I saw this, like I said, you know, it said iOS 15, which I'm on. And, of course, Apple logo means iPhones and stuff. And I, I'm going to make it very clear. This is not just for iPhones, iPads, Mac users. This is not for any Apple users. This is Apple and Android or Apple and Windows users that really need to pay attention to this. So I'm going to read the article. If you want to read it by yourself, then I'll have the link down in the description for you guys to check this out by yourselves. But I did want to go over this with you guys and just try to explain a little bit of my understanding of this article. An alarming new update from Google that hasn't made headlines has suddenly put Chrome's 2.6 billion users, 2.6 billion users, okay, at risk of surveillance, manipulation, and abuse. If you're one of those users, this nasty new surprise just gave you a reason to quit. Chrome has serious issues when it comes to protecting your security and your privacy. The world's leading browser has issued one urgent fix after another this year, as high-risk exploits have been found in the wild. And just a few weeks ago, Google finally admitted it had accidentally, accidentally allowed millions of users to be sec secretly tracked. Google says it wants to change to put your privacy first, that web tracking is now out of control and has resulted in an erosion of trust. But as DuckDuckGo warns, it's all noise until Google actually agrees to collect less data and do less behavioral targeting. So what does this mean? In hindsight, it means that they're basically looking at what you're searching on the web and giving you advertisements and, and things like that. Now, you see this all over uh, the web. You know, uh, all there's billions of companies that do this. Facebook does it, as you guys know, and I'm sure there's more. But if you really think about it, and I was even explaining this to my friend yesterday. You could be having a simple conversation right now. And I'm, I'm sure if you guys uh, looked at your phones, if you're watching this on a computer right now, and you looked at your phones, 
this is going to be all over your phone right now. If you were to have a conversation with, you know, a family member, a friend, whoever, and you're talking about a certain subject, or let's say you were talking about your favorite restaurant, you know, uh, you'll see when you go on your phone, you'll see that they have advertisements and all these other things that surround the subject that you were talking about. You know, now I'm not trying to say that, you know, it's Google's fault. It's Android's fault. It's this one. All phones are the same that, you know, there's many social media platforms that do the same thing. So in a way, you're not safe from it. Now, I can't really talk about other browsers and how they work, but I mean, I've seen it with Google now. You know, there's Google and there's Google Chrome apps. I would say to leave both and, you know, try to go for another browser. For Apple users, I would say just stick to Safari. I think that over the years now, I know that like a long time ago when using Safari, it would open as a regular browser and and you would have to zoom in the screen. Now it's gotten better. So, I mean, just use Safari and you'll be fine. At least that's how I think of it. You know, I haven't heard anything about Safari. But, you know, I know that there's certain websites out there that, you know, that you couldn't be using because uh, it just didn't allow you. You know, like StreamYard I'm using right now. I wasn't able to use it uh, to stream to different platforms you know i wasn't able to go on streamyard.com at all but as far as right now i haven't really used safari i'm going to now because i'm gonna be deleting google chrome and using safari from now on so if you're an apple user use safari if you are an android user there's always uh duck duck go uh and billions of others you know there's firefox i know firefox is a little bit sketchy as well, but just do your research and see which one is best for you and which one you guys like the most. I I know billions and billions of people use Google Chrome, but I personally wouldn't anymore. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you guys have any questions for me? about this article and about this subject leave them down in the comment section and i want to again shout out my friend for sending me this article because i mean had i not seen that i would have never guessed that this was happening so yeah Uh, thank you guys again i'll see you guys in the next one